Yemen hospitals um, mean so much to me because I spent um, such a significant amount of time um, of my life and still in my life, uh, of my life in the children's hospital. I was born with a congenital heart defect um, and I'm currently being treated for that congenital heart defect and as a child I spent such a considerable amount of my childhood being treated um, in the children's hospital in West Virginia for that defect um, and I know that a lot of the funds that the Children's Miracle Network raises um, you know directly impacted me and supported my family and my parents um, and the medical staff that um, were protecting me and helping me and healing me and you know at that time um, what that were able to um, heal me and and able to um, sorry I'm getting emotional can I can I you know keep going is that okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't think that I would that's why I came talking to you um, that were able to um, give me the tools that I needed to, to heal me and make me grow so that I'm able to you know, go on and, and be Madeline um, and be here today. I think that I offer a really incredible perspective um, because I have my story and my background. Um, these kids are able to see me as someone who has gone through the experience that they're going through at that time. Um, and I think it resonates with them to see someone like me who's grown up and has the scars that they have but is living a life to the fullest and is happy and is strong and is healthy and that they know that they can do it just like I'm doing it now. My biggest message is just to keep going, really, to keep going and to hang in there because you're going to get through it. You know, there, there is an end to this and um, the fight, it will end and, and it's beautiful and you will get through it and, um, you know, there is power and God gives the, the, the hardest battles to his strongest soldiers, as my mom used to say. And, um, you know, you can do it, keep going um, and that's all.